Welcome into the news portion of DSI. I'm Jordan Kudish. Well, we start tonight in Delaware, where two Prince George's County men are behind bars for their roles in a shooting in Fenwick Island. Police say they were called around 245 for suspicious activity outside of a home on West Atlantic Street. An officer responded and found a Jeep on fire, a shattered window and bullet holes on the home. Now, according to authorities, the shooting stemmed from an incident outside of secrets in Ocean City. Four women say they were approached by Andre Blakeney and Finnis Miles, who offered them a ride home. Now, we're told the women agreed, but they felt uncomfortable and they got out of the car. Police say Blakeney and Miles followed the women home and began banging on their door and shooting at the house. Now, luckily, no one was injured, but the pair were found in Ocean City by town police and taken into custody. They're facing a number of charges. That's including four counts of reckless endangering. And in other news, meat prices have skyrocketed and they're showing no signs of coming down. One restaurant saying some prices have almost tripled, giving them another obstacle to deal with. Now with people getting out of the house, food industry officials say they're ready to cater to those crowds. But one family owned restaurant says that those prices will do some damage. And now with certain meats like ribeyes posing another issue, they say better days are further down the road. I've seen this before, but I've never seen it maintained this long. And usually there'll be, you know, ebbs and flows, and we're just kind of seeing it go full tilt, you know, all through the summer. So I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. But I do know that if it keeps going up and um, we have to raise prices, and then with the minimum wage continuing to climb, it's going to force a lot of small businesses, I think, out. Now, for those in the food industry, they say they're not sure when prices are expected to come down, but they're asking customers to be aware and they could even try other meats whose prices aren't being affected. And tonight in Sharptown, family members gathered for a vigil in honor of John Davis, who tragically drowned this past weekend at Cherry Beach Park. His family says this is a tragedy and they want to bring loved ones together in his honor. The night was filled with music, prayer, memories. The family tells us that although they're happy to have the community come out and support, they still want the swimming conditions at the park addressed, so something like this never has to happen again. Kevin Mezik, who recently lost his brother from drowning, helped in the search for Davis and says he felt he needed to lend a hand after experiencing something very similar. This brings back so many emotions and memories, and I mean, it was, it was a horrible time especially for the, their loss when he, I mean, he drowned right in front of them. It's awful. So hopefully maybe the county or somebody will either put in no swimming or maybe put some life-saving devices or something, throwables, you know, maybe could help in the future. Now we have yet to hear if anything will be done about swimming regulations, but we will keep you updated as we learn more. And there will be a link to donate to help with funeral expenses on our website. That's 47abc.com. And with that, we're going to toss things over to Daniel for a look at your weekend forecast. Thank you, Jordan. Today was humid compared to the past couple of days, and we're going to see an increase in humidity through the weekend and into next week. Right now, though, it is looking pretty good out there. Just a mild night, a little bit of a breeze there on our Morse roofing and siding sky cam. We have 70 degrees for Ted and Millsboro and for Chucky and Lewis at this hour. And compared to last night, temperatures are warmer by 5 to 15 degrees, depending on where you are. So the warmer air is here, and it's all due to a warm front that lifted north earlier today. It's increases our, increasing our humidity. Excuse me. Look at these dew points in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So quite uncomfortable, and it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uncomfortable humidity. And there will be at times when those dew points get close to the insta sweat uh, category out there. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of sweating over the next several days. Be sure to stay hydrated. That warm front now to our north and west, and we are just dealing with uh, partly cloudy skies right now. There are a few showers down in North Carolina, and we can't rule out a few of those storms lifting north through our area tomorrow. Tonight, though, we're dry, partly cloudy, just a little bit of patchy fog possible, upper 60s and low 70s for Saturday, a mix of clouds and sun. So similar to today, but a little more humid and a little warmer mid 80s with perhaps that pop up shower or storm. Best chance for that storm will be between noon and probably 4 p.m. So just be advised around that time if you're walking your dog 
there could be a pop up shower. Look at Lexi. So cute. Uh, thank you, Kathy, for sending in that dog walking picture and we want your dog pictures so we can put it on our dog walking forecast for you. Include your name and your dog's name, please. Email us weather at 47abc.com. Here's the beach forecast for the weekend. Not bad. 80 degrees on Saturday, 81 on Sunday. Sunday's the better of the two days, but even Saturday, I think, is going to be dry at the beach, but we're expecting more sunshine on Sunday. Small craft advisory for the Chesapeake Bay on Saturday. No advisories for the Atlantic or the Delaware Bay. So futurecast does show perhaps a pop up shower. We're mostly dry th through the morning on Saturday, but then look at that. A few inland showers. The beaches probably staying dry. Uh, through the day Saturday and then on Sunday we're expecting more sunshine. We'll call it mostly sunny and that sunshine continues into your Monday. Plenty of sunshine Monday and that's when things start to heat up into the 90s. Temperatures continue to climb up to 92 on Tuesday with sunshine 93 on Wednesday, but some forecast models have us getting even higher than that. So a heat wave is likely Salisbury's first heat wave. We still haven't had a heat wave officially, but most other locations have Georgetown Dover's already had a heat wave and this could be their second one. So we're expecting 90s again with pretty dry weather next week too. maybe some storms by Thursday and Friday. Keep it here. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Micaiah Applewhite. I'm from Cape and Lopen High School and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.